Hi, good morning. Today we are going to see the demo for Trip Companion. The objective of this app is to provide the trip information from around your city and friends. So, for example, if you are going for your trip for uh, OTR or Kodakana, so you can post your trip uh, if you are going alone. So, you can get any company from your uh, around area. Okay, so this is the objective. Let's start the user module. So if you are a new user, go to the user registration and you can sign up to your account. And so I'm just using a demo login over here. Okay, so before going to the app, we will see the delivery parts. So you'll be getting the complete Android source code. There is Android SRC. You can view the source code in Android uh, Studio. So you can expand it and, the, and you can expand the WW folder. Once you expand it, you can see the source code. So if you double click the HTML file, so these are all the front end files. Okay, so these are the design files. The back end part will be the JS file. So we are using Angular JavaScript. So we are using the Angular module for the back end. And uh, on for one more back end, we are using PHP files. So PHP will be the back end over here. So you can see the PHP files over here. This is the delivery file, and you will be having the uh, injection in the readme files. Okay. So let's first we will see how to start the project. So to start the project, you have to open XAMPP control panel. That is XAMPP control panel. So you can search in your PC and open the XAMPP. <coughs> and here we are using two server. So you have to click on the start Apache and start MySQL. So on both the servers has been started. You can click on the admin button of MySQL. So once you click the MySQL admin button, it will promote you to the web browser. And in the left hand side, you can see your project database that is strip. So this is your database, you can just select it and you can able to view all the tables over here. So these are all the tables like these are all the tables over here. So if you want to see the login information, you can click on the login table and you can able to view overall registered at the, to this app. So likewise, you can see the category expenses store uh, tables are there. So here we are using eight tables over here. So next you have to open Android Studio. Okay, open Android Studio. So by default, your project will be imported over here. So next you have to open the device manager. So usually it will be uh, inside below your minimize button. It will be there. So open the device manager and select the Nixis one. So here there will be a uh, run button will be there like play button so you have to start this uh, emulator so already my emulator is started so from here you can see your app is over here so you can click uh, and open your app so let's log into our app let's go for the modules so user at gmail.com password is test so login successful so once you log in <coughs> you can able to uh, see all the modules over here so if you are a if you want to find a tour, you can click on the uh, find tour and you can search it. And if you want to add a tour, you can add the tour and update and delete the tour. So once you start your trip, you can add your uh, expenses between your uh, friends. Like for, for example, five people are going. So each five people will be uh, spending on different money. Like uh, one people will pay uh, the car payment, one people will pay for the food. So you can calculate your expenses and you can calculate who wants to provide how much payment like that. So let's go for the modules one by one. So if you want to add your tour, go to the add tour and you can provide so where you are going. For example, I am providing Uti. So where from what is the starting area and which for uh, <coughs> so which are all the places you are going to visit so i am just providing you the like so how many days you are going with how many people you are expected to join so what kind of uh, 
uh, vehicle you are having, whether it is your own vehicle or hiring or public like that. And you can mention the date. So I am just putting the today date. And how much amount approximately it is needed. So it is created successfully. So once you create it, so it will be active. So you can view in the view tools. So previously I have added this one and this second one is this one okay so you can also search by means of the tripwise so just now we have added OT we can search by the drop down also you can search by the <coughs> or in the search menu you can search by tripwise you can search by destination wise like that the status is active and if you want to update it you can click on the update option you can able to edit any uh, places or anything okay So first you have to add your trips uh, tools over here. So if you are a finder as a normal public, then you can go for the uh, tour and you can search if you are going for a OT image, you can search over here <laughs> and you can call the uh, particular person. You can click on the call now, automatically it will go for your dialer option. Okay, so you can call them and you can see, you ask them whether any vacancies are there. You can tie up with them and you can go for the tour. And if you, if you want to see the profile of the person, you can check the user profile. So, whom, what is the address and the city is he is coming from. And if you if you want to, if the information is fake, if you want to report them to the admin, so you can click on the report user and you can update the type whether it is misleading or spam like that. So, you can uh, put I am update I have reported the user so this report will go for the admin side okay. so once you start the trip so you can go to the add trip okay so you can add your trip over here so previously I have added Goa etc etc so I am just adding Utri has my trip so it is added so once you add the trip you can add your friend's name can go to the add name so previously I have added three names over here you can update and delete so I am going to add the expenses in the OT so select OT select the name so what kind of type so it will be like a rent so he is paying 300 for rent and uh, so you can view the expenses over here so what are all the expenses you are adding so i'm just adding extra person so Arun is spending food for a 300 uh, sorry 200 so it is created so you can view the tripwise the details over here you can still update if uh, the price if you want so if you want to once your trip is finished you can go to the calculator okay select the trip you are going to calculate so what is the car so go to the here so you can see Arun and Kumar has shared the trip and you can click on the balance okay so once you click the balance so <coughs> so Arun has to provide 50 rupees uh, for the trip okay uh, so he, he, Kumar has to get 50 rupees and the divided will be 250 so everybody has to uh, share 250 rupees and so this is the calculation so you can able to calculate how many people has to pay or what is the amount like that and you can able to see that so this is these are all the modules for the these are all the modules for the user side so for the admin so if the if the trip is a fake trip okay so go to the admin login so the admin credential is admin at gmail.com password is test so if the if it is a fake trip so the admin will see the reports over here so you can see uh, from this uh, for the for this particular email id for this trip eight number so the it is reported as misleading so they can still uh, the admin can able to view the trip details okay so he can see the trip details and if you want to block the user click on the block user and he can able to uh, so the user can be able to do the login anymore so he can't able to block for a single report say so if it is reported for the many times so if it is reported for uh, like five to six times so he can't able to do the login so my account is blocked by the admin now so if i am login so the email account has been blocked so this is the model explanation for the project
So that's all. Thank you.